Right, the next type of graph is the logistic or the sigmoid growth, and that's called the S. Now, both of these graphs, the J and the S, is because of the shape. And this is the type of graph that we find that bigger animals with slower growth in the population size and with fewer numbers, but more stable populations will take this type of growth. Remember, we're busy with population studies, so it's important that you know this. Colin, we get different stages here as well. Yes, and um, learners, you must know the different phases or stages here, but why this happens. Once again, it's the lag phase. And they can ask you why the growth is at such a slow rate here. Now, normally, organisms need to acclimatize here. They need first need to find mates. They are maybe too young. They're, they're not of a reproductive age yet but or they are very few in numbers. And then you can see as they settle in and they, they, they find their shelters, etc. They then there's a positive acceleration phase. And all of a sudden, there is a rapid increase, which is referred to as the exponential yeah, and phase. And up to there, it's very much like a J curve, but then see what happens then. Then you can see it, 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 it goes off the number, the increase, it's, it's decreasing all of a sudden. And the question is why? And you've heard the word environmental resistance. And um, if when Lorraine said that environmental resistance is all of a sudden, there are too many in this environment, the food becomes scarce, water becomes scarce, there are too many of them. And um, the excretion, they can, they can, um, it's toxins that's released. Mm. So there you can see, and all of a sudden, there's a stationary phase where it flats down the, the, the mm. curve. Now that's an equilibrium. In other words, more may be born, but some die, so the numbers of the population stay more or less at the same time. Now, the number of that population, um, there where you get it, where, you, where it reaches the equilibrium phase, there, if we look at the number, that will be the carrying capacity. And we will refer to carrying capacity just now. So carrying capacity is the number of individuals that the environment can um, support, and it will be at that number where we reach equilibrium. So there's the phases that Colin has discussed with you. Yeah, as we have spoken about this, so we're going to run through this quickly. Here you can see the growth is slow because the population is small. They still have to look and find a mate to reproduce with, and they must still get used to the environment, which means they have to settle in, they have to build nests, etc., etc. Then we have the accelerating growth phase, also the exponential phase, and there it is um, at growth at its maximum because many of them are sexually mature and they can reproduce. And then it will slow down. It's a decelerating phase where the growth rate decreases because of environmental resistance that sets in until the stable or equilibrium phase is reached. And this is where growth stops and the births are more equal to the death rate at that stage. And this is where the carrying capacity and there you can see what is meant by carrying capacity. Know the definition of a carrying capacity is the maximum number of individuals of a species that an ecosystem can supply resources to. And I think, Lorraine, to explain to them what you mean by number. Yeah, um, but just a moment there. You can see that this J curve is growing past the carrying mm. capacity, which means that when it gets here, there won't be enough food, there won't be enough living space, and we might find a massive dying of individuals. So that we might have a total decimation of the population, or we might have to start all over again. And that's typical, as I've said, for mm. um, something like insects. And there you can see that the S-curve is much more stable. And there you've got your carrying capacity, which is a number around which the equilibrium will be reached, meaning that within, because of environmental resistance, this environment cannot support a bigger population.